Hey, what's up, everybody? Steven here, the Horror Freak 85. Um, ironically, I was watching a Wild Eye movie, uh, House Monster. I went ahead and paused it uh, to go check the mail. And I got a package here from Rob and the folks over at Wild Eye. So let's see what they sent me. I'm thinking those are raw and extremes there, so I'll pick those last. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this one here. first one I got is 5G Zombies, The Next Generation Nightmare. So that should be a good one. I've been looking forward to that one. So thank you very much. First it fries your brain, then it makes you kill. I guess I'll read the back real quick. The human race struggles to survive as government have conspired to turn the citizens of the world into zombies via their brand new 5G self-service during a global pandemic. Turn it on and be tuned into one of, be turned into one of the undead. Bonus features, uh, scene selection and trailers. Uh, it's a 2020 and it's 96 minutes long. All right, next one we got. The Ashcroft Entity, which I may have. Uh, if I do, this will either be a trade or prize. There's the back. Uh, it's based on the chilling true story of the Thornton Heath poltergeist. Uh, Peter and Margaret believe they purchased their dream home, but this house is hiding a deadly decades-old secret that is seeking vengeance. A moody, effective period British horror in the Hammer tradition directed by Anthony Winston, um, the Baylock residence and House of Afflictions. Bonus features include alternate ending, deleted scenes, extended scenes, scene selection, and trailers. Uh, it's a 2015, 82 minutes. Next one. <laughs> wow, that's hilarious. When I just said I was watching House Monster. So this will be another one to add to that uh, duplicate pile. But it's all good. It's in your house. It's in your head. A struggling actress, self-quarantine at home. To weather a global pandemic, but something evil joins her. Bonus features. It's got director's commentary, scene selection, and trailers. Uh, it's a 2020, 70 minutes long. That's really funny. I mean, what are the odds of... <laughs> I'm watching that now and I get it. All right. Next one is... Evil Nun. Prayers won't help you. I've been looking forward to this one, too. Enter the darkness corners of sin, a chilling collection of European horror tales. The evil nun is a bizarre and uh, irreverent cry of terror from a new generation of underground horror masters featuring deranged killers, post-apocalypse mutations, vlogger demons, a mythological creature designed to make the skin crawl off your bones. There's the, the back. Uh, it's a 2018... So I'm glad to have this to my physical collection. Next one. All right, another one looking forward to. Heads are gonna roll. Death rank. Cover work's awesome. I love wild eye artwork. They have the best artwork. Pure throwback slasher. Uh, I think this is a 2019, 74 minutes. Uh, ro Roller Boogie meets Friday the 13th is bloody disgusting. The night staff of a roller rink are stalked and murdered by a mysterious figure who they believe may be the spirit of a teenager who was accidentally killed there years ago. Bonus features include trailers and scene selection. Next one. Suicide Club. Which I'm pretty sure I got that one. I mean, I got 288 Wild Eye titles so far, so yeah, it's up there. Kill or Be Killed. A reclusive young woman discovers an online cyber suicide community that promises to kill anyone who asks, but soon learns that if she does not not follow through, everyone around her is in danger. A fun roller coaster ride from beginning to end. It's a 2017, 90 minutes long. I'll have to go through my list and add them and do a video of everything I have. Um, oops, I think I accidentally grabbed one of the raw and extremes. Okay. Future Fear. Another one I've been looking forward to see. 
that bug reminds me of Starship Troopers a little bit. So this one's probably like a more science fiction uh, wild eye than horror. I mean, sure, it might have some horror elements. Yeah, as I did turn the back of the cover, yeah, I'd say it's got some horror elements. So it's probably a horror sci-fi. Uh, it came out this year, 92 minutes. Only the past can save her. In a distant future, an archaeologist is hunted by alien attackers and takes refuge in the ruins of long extinct civilization. She must employ ancient technology in hopes of finding a way to fight back against her hunters and escape the planet. Uh, it has trailers and scene selections. Okay. Oh. Another one I recently got. Um, Fright Vision. Turn off the lights for terror. And I'm pretty sure I reviewed this one as well. Um, uh, okay, my brain just forgot what I was going to say. On October 9th, i um, actually going to have Rebecca Reinhardt, who plays Dr. Bubenstein. Uh, she's going to be on the House of Horrors. Uh, so tune into that. And I think I'll have this one, and I'll have it as a prize for someone who comes on that night. So if you want to win this, add it to your collection. This is a good one. Definitely recommend adding it um, to it. Uh, you know, stop on by the show, and uh, you'll have a chance to win it. Grab a front row seat to insanity. Prepare yourself for five twisted tales of terror hosted by everyone's favorite sinister succubus, Dr. Bubenstein, featuring vicious vixens, flesh-eating mist, vengeful Aztec gods, talking corpse, sinister Santas, and more. So sit back, turn out the lights, and get ready for the worst nightmare to unfold. It's a 2020. Runtime is 102 minutes. Next, we got a Raw and Extreme Frames of Fear 3, which I have, but that's all right. So if you want this, keep an eye out for it. The third time is the messiest. More gore, sickness, stench, tales from the hardest edges of the horror underground, where it is still not safe to use, the VC use your VCR. Features grue-soaked grue segments by fan-favorite directors Brad Twig, Matt Watts, Dustin Ferguson, and more. Get your raincoat and VHS tape rewinder. It's a 2020, 80 minutes. Highly recommended if you want to laugh, be grossed out, and have a good time. Next one. Sweet. I do not have this one. Disintegration. Unrated. Is it 45 or 47? 47. Okay. Because those were two I didn't have was 45 and 47. And there are like a lot of uh, Raw and Extremes coming out like the next couple months through December. Some good ones I've seen. Uh, so there's the front. Back. A fever dream that plunges the viewer deep into a twisted world of hallucinate masturbator madness okay <laughs> sexual depravity there's the back 2015 90 minutes naked afraid doomed a woman stumbles through the woods naked covered in blood who has no recollection of who she is after reaching a cabin that seems familiar so memories come back memories of violence blood splatter and assault she soon finds a dismembered corpse in the cabin and that is when her descent into madness really begins. It's got bonus features, scene selection, and trailers. And I believe the last one is Prison of the Psychotic Damned. Your sentence is death. So this must be number 45. Yep. So I got all of these now, of course. Thank you very much for helping me complete my collection. Packed with great gore effects and... A bevy of zombies, ghosts, mad doctors, and death. Five walked in, only one came out. Five ghost hunters spend the night in the terminal along abandoned train station, located deep in the heart of Buffalo, New York's notorious East Side Ghetto. The terminal is said to be haunted by all those who have died within its cold stone walls. What begins as a joke turns into a terrifying nightmare as the five are assaulted by hordes of psychotic dead. Uh, scene selection and trailers. 
It's a, actually a 2006, and it's 100 minutes. So, all right, those are the movies that I got in this package. Thank you very much. Uh, looking forward to these and doing some more Wild Eye Wednesdays since it's been a while and I've finally started doing them again. Um, always a good time. I'll leave a link down below for Wild Eye. Uh, you can also find them on Amazon, Walmart, um, eBay too, if you're having trouble finding certain titles. They're sellers as well. Uh, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and I'll see you next time.